Well, Terry, uh, a new experience for you, looking down at the team that you actually run. Uh, what are your th thoughts at this moment? Uh, probably more nervous now than I was when I was manager. You know, uh, you feel far more responsibility in the position that I'm in at the moment. Well, let's hope we have something exciting to put before you. Let's have a look at the way they're going to line up. Now, the absence of Jason Perry and Phil Stamp serving the last match of their suspension after being sent off on opening day again means Cardiff have to field a weakened side. But they do have key men back in, a, in action following a reduction of patients at the club's injury treatment centre. Hazelwood returns while Derry Thompson and Damon Searle get a first outing this season. This Swansea lineup shows once again that manager Frank Burrows has yet to field his first at, uh, choice side this season with Keith Walker, Mike Basham, Andy Cook, Andy McFarlane as long-term injured absentees and now for the second match in a row the dynamic Jason Bowen is uh, ruled out. This leaves Steve Torpy as the all-out striker looking for midfield support quickly and often. I think everyone hopes there will be a great deal of goal mouth activity in this local derby which will also feature, of course, Roger Freestone in his 179th consecutive game for the Swans and as the best goalkeeper in the second division. And, of course, David Williams, the newcomer to Cardiff, whose anticipation and safe hands ensured that Wrexham didn't score here last Tuesday. So, the referee today, Mr Ian Henley of Amtill in Bedfordshire. And it'll be the Blue Shirts of Cardiff City. Kicking off and attacking the goal to our right. Not a big crowd here at uh, 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. But, oh, and Griffiths is in! Well, 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 well! And a penalty has been given. I think that's a very harsh decision, but... within 30 seconds. What about this, Terry? Well, I disagree with you at the harsh decision. I, I think... Uh... Really, the ball is going wide of the goals, but the goalkeeper has brought Cohen Griffiths down, you know? Well, now it's a question of whether Roger Freestone stays on the park. And it looks as though he is. What a dramatic opening. Looking at it a second time, you could be right here. You know, I think, I think Cohen has decided he wanted to score there. Well, here we go. And save. Well, 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 well. Damon Searle. <laughs> Not exactly a tremendous return to the game. And Torpy. Well, gracious me, we'll look at that penalty again in a moment. Corn forth. Grip it. Caldale. Well, let's go back and have a look at that penalty again, Terry. That was uh, a terrible error. Probably justice uh, was done there, but uh, I don't know. A player coming back from injury, taking a penalty first game. It's got to be debatable, that one, I think. Too right. So, what a dramatic start. Abpadu for Swansea against Richardson. In the centre. And Scott gets it away today. So, in for Gary Thompson. That's a good ball. Unlucky to pick up uh, Oakway. That's what he was aiming for. Offside flag. Catches Martin Hayes. Just a step and a half offside. Roger Freestone, that tremendous penalty save then. Great credit to him. But we remember him doing it at, uh, at Wembley in the Autoglass Trophy. It's guaranteed that Swansea won the cup. Terry Evans. Wants somebody wide on that right side. Thompson's offering himself now. Unfortunately, he lost his feet. Oh, that was a, a funny sort of whistle. Oh, that's a good ball, Torpy! Well done, goalkeeper. Well done, goalkeeper. That was fair enough. It was a 50-50 ball. Crowd a little bit angry. But uh, I would have thought it's Hayes who went through there. But he went for the ball. And the goalkeeper was genuinely and properly very, very brave. He's going to get booked for it. 
I think it's a shame to book him for it, really. I think uh, it could be a bit of crowd reaction. As you see, it's just running away from him, as we said before, on a slippery ground. He's gone for it. Perhaps it's his second lunge that the referee books him for. Hodge. That's a good cross now. Hazelwood just gets enough to deflect it out of harm's way. Outway. He wants to go right. But oh dear, that uh, is far too far right. Yeah, plenty of simple balls on for him to play there just to build the attack up. Don't be getting too eager. David Penny and goes well for the return. And hit the boot of uh, Evans to stop Penny going into a really good position. All bad clearance. Richardson that sends Torpy in. Needs some help. It's Evans sticking close to him. Did well the big chap. Corn four. Hayes. Oh misunderstanding between Hayes and Cornforth. Oh, and that drifts off Brazil and rather fortuitously gets to eight way. And now the youngster Scott. Thompson with Ford going with him. <laughs> Gary Thompson and Ford having a good old bundle down that side. The throw-in has already been awarded to uh, Cardiff. And uh, a few heated words between Ford and Gary Thompson. I think when those eyes start staring at you, you watch out. Brazil tries to get there. Harris got it away. Oh. I think it was a shot from Richardson eventually, but uh, went through such a forest of legs, could have gone anywhere. Just needed a touch on his way in, didn't it? It did. Harris wins it in the air. And then it's Richardson who strikes it first time, and Freestone never saw it until it was just about to creep past the post. Cornforth. Hayes. Not a bad try, Hayes, Martin Hayes. Martin Hayes, who uh, never scored away from home for Swansea. He's only got four goals for them. The last one of those was at Burnley, November 93. Going well cleared away then by Jenkins. An easy header out for Cornforth. Richardson, toe poke. It was worth a try. Richardson still looking for his first of the season, as are so many of the Cardiff players. If it wasn't for Phil Stamp, their goals for Colin would look pretty, pretty thin indeed. Hazelwood, good control. Dale on his way. Ford tracking him. Support from Searle. Now they're filling up the box, and Thompson goes in. Gary Thompson, that's the sort of thing you'll get from him. Genuine. Chase it. Go for it. Griffith. Evans. I'm afraid there was more hope than uh, accuracy in that pass from Terry Evans. Never mind. Here's Charlie Oakway. For Searle. Searle. And Thompson. Uh, Cohen Griffith. Richardson leaves it for Azelwood. And it breaks Swansea's way. Maybe trying to be a little bit too elaborate at times, uh, Cardiff. But they are stringing one or two good passing movements together. Here's Hodge now for Swansea. 
John Ford. And inevitably, John Cornforth. Back to Cornforth from Scott. Ford. Not much happening out on the left flank for Swansea. They're directing most of the traffic down the right-hand side. Hayes has now come across to this left wing. Free kick, Torpy's challenge on Brazil. And his drenching rain. Again, a feature of the game. Richardson. Picking up Griffith. Taking on Clove. He's done well, he's done very well. And there's, oh dear. That was not a good ball from Cohen Griffith. Right behind three men who were eight to 10 yards from goal. And in the event, Swansea broke back again. <laughs> Cohen Griffith really ought to have done a little bit better. Yeah, he's, think, he's, uh, he's done everything right. He's got to the byline, he's had a look up. Um, I'm not quite certain what he was looking for. Uh, but kind of could have done with an extra body in the penalty area anyway. Thompson gets it in. Dale trying to get there, won't. Cornforth hooks it away. Searle. Or Scott. Could drop. Outwell. Searle. Richardson, Hazelwood, nobody wide on the right side. It's Thompson in, just needed the tiniest touch. And Gary Thompson gave it his best effort then. He only needed a wafer thin contact. And that would have gone past Freestone. What do you think, Terry? Gary, uh, maybe just a little touch, especially at this stage of the game, a few minutes to half time. A little touch there would have beaten Freestone. Hayes back for Harris. John Ford. Jenkins on that left side, a uh, right side, and uh, Griffith has gone over there. Here's Aislewood. A well played penny. Torpy. Hodge, chased by Oakway. Oakway did just enough to hold up uh, Hodge. Did well there because Mark Hazel would have put himself out of the game and, and Cardiff was struggling. They had four games, three. Ampadu. Cornforth. Leaves it, in fact, to Penny. Claude started to run. It's about the first time I've seen him go down this touchline. Might try one from here. Oh, yes, Hayes. Has to be. Oh, disaster for the Cardiff defence. Martin Hayes could not miss that one. That's the first time he scored away for Swansea. The travelling fans are in for transport of delight, but they were carved apart, mainly because Claude made that run down the left. After that, it was curtains, Terry. Easy chance for Hayes again, but uh, Cardiff were overrun on the, their right and Swansea's left. Uh, they've been pulled apart. Paul gets in here. Game of Sill makes a lunge at him. He then keeps his head, tucks the ball inside. They get the break, uh, which you need when you're going to score goals, and quite a simple task at the end. Hazelwood there. Uh, what's your reflections and reactions to the first half, uh, Terry? I think Cardiff's got to be disappointed. Eddie's got to be disappointed that, uh, you know, they've gone in 1-0 at, at half-time. they played some good stuff. So is Swansea. Uh, they're the away side, so they've got to be very happy it's 1-0. Hayes is the man who got that one goal. And we're going to take a short break, Jack. But you'll have the second half in just a few moments. Garvey. Just a reminder that uh, Swansea are leading 1-0. Martin Hayes having scored the goal. Swansea attacking the goal to our right. And the rain seems to have eased off a little bit. 
for which we should think the travelling Swansea fans are, are very grateful. Although, uh, a fair number of the crowd undercover, of course, they are Cardiff supporters. There's just under 6,000 here, out in the open Swansea, but uh, it's their own fault. They were put undercover last year for this local derby, and, uh, well, we all remember what happened in the stand. Harris. Oh. Involuntary handball, says the referee. OK. Hazelwood. Thompson, the touchdown. Otway. Trying to cross it, so Will. Hooked away again. And a constant wave of blue shirts heading towards the Swansea goal. That'll drop to Griffith. Well cleared by Ford as Dale thought he was going to get a toe poke in. But this is good pressure from Cardiff. Good volley from Gary Thompson there. There was a bit unfortunate to get on the end of it. This will come to Thompson now. Oh, there was a great yes from some of the crowd who thought that Gary had squeezed it inside the post. But unfortunately for him, two inches the wrong way goes outside. fans quietened down again having had a fairly loudish time plenty of cheers and support in the early stages of the second half so touch off to Oakway Hazelwood touch on to Dale well saved but Richardson surely will get there he did it's 1-1. One, one. Nicky Richardson. And the Cardiff supporters look as though they've won the cup. Nicky Richardson's first of the season. To be fair, the pressure that Cardiff been putting on Swansea, uh, they deserve to get something out of it. Good ball in by Mark Hazelwood here. Nice touch on. And Carl did well. He swung his foot around it. Freestone's got the touch. And then Richardson wins the race for the ball. That'll do Cardale the world of good. Ampadu. Brazil couple. And Brazil wins a fortuitous throw in. Looking at Brazil here, he looks far happier in that central defensive role than he does when he's playing at fullback. This, I think, is where. Oh, here's Ampadu. Hodge now switching over to that far touch line. Penny in bother with Oakway. Going forth, Ampadu. Claude making the run on the left. In for a chance. Well, he got a piece of it. That was nearly a replay of the, of the goal that Swansea scored. Yes. They can't afford to let uh, Mark Claude have too much freedom on that left side. When we saw him play in that other class final, uh, he was definitely one of Swansea's best players on the day. Mm. And he showed, you know, he's very good at going forward there. Jenkins, the long lob forward, should be a goalkeeper's ball, but there might be a little confusion there. Mark Harris. Trying to chip it over Terry Evans. Well done, Richardson. And here goes Caldell. A chip is wanted, and he... Oh, what rotten luck. Oh, you got to feel for him. Carlo out of the game so long, so desperately needed a goal. Wasn't that rotten luck, Terry? Richardson did ever so well there. Picked him out, and Carl's taking him forward. You know, before his injury, and the way luck goes for you, that would have gone in the back of the net. He was scoring goals for fun then. Oh, 
Oh, clever stuff by Hayes. Oh, not too sure he knew too much about it, but uh, that very nearly foxed everybody. Little back heel, flicked it up in the air. Bat Cardiff come again. So, Hazelwood. Thompson, good ball to him too. Brian Griffith, Richardson, far post. Thompson's in there as well. Here's Thompson. Richardson! Well saved, gone forth, and well done, Fristo. Would you believe it? Richardson certainly thought he was on a second there, but what a super ball in to, uh, to Thompson from Aislewood. And then there's cross in. Terry, I thought Richardson... Good build-up. Thompson brave there going in. I think Nicky just thought he had to just tap it in the back of the net. He was unlucky. But you've got to give credit to Cornforth. He's got back well. Well, we're getting the Gilmarth activity we look forward to. Here's Hodge. Everybody stood off. And the chance is there for Torpy. Couldn't get it on target. Just had to try and hit it back across goal. Free kick given against Searle. Foul on Pasco. Free kick, Swansea. And to end stuff you. Oh, I must use that sometime. <laughs> Gate figures for today: five, five, two, three. There's Thompson letting Dale through. Unlucky. Carl Dale's been a bit unfortunate this afternoon, hasn't he? You know that. You know, probably missing most of the last season. That little bit of extra pace might have got him there. There was a great tackle in the end, I think, by Ford. Smashing tackle. Hazelwood, easy ball out. Cornforth, though. The chip forward. Pasco's beaten the offside trap. And the shot comes in from Hayes. Oh, dear. I think that should have found the back of the net and uh, Cardiff ought to have been punished for some rather sloppy defensive work here, Terry. Pascal made a good run, Cornforth's picking out. Cardiff tried to play the offside track. And uh, I think he's hit the target, the keeper's made a good save. Yes, I take it back. It was Williams who uh, saved Cardiff then. Here's Pasco. Hodge. Thompson back to help his defence. What a good drive. Whew. David Penny, and that wasn't too far off target. You can just see Swansea coming back uh, more into the game now, Hugh. That you know, the last uh, two or three minutes, they've had a few shots, and a few corners. And Swansea come again through Perrett, taking on Scott. Scott sticking with him. Boy got the ball in, Hodge gets a corner out of it. Well, on my watch, we're into stoppage time. And These are uh, last minute jitters for managers, aren't they? You know, your team's played well all afternoon, you've got a draw, and the other team have got a, a corner right in the last minute of the game. Hodge with this corner. Harris got up. And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. Um, Eddie May breathes again. Frank Burrows is reasonably happy, I suppose, with the situation at 1-1. Nobody wins, nobody loses. Nope, there it is, 1-1. So, the last reflection is Terry. I think both managers really have got to be happy. I think, uh, from Carter's point of view, they play some good football, they've had chances. They probably should have won the game on their chances. From Swansea's point of view, they've got injuries, they're away from home, and they've got a point, so they'll be happy as well. Well, just a reminder, Martin Hayes got the goal for Swansea, Nicky Richardson the goal for Cardiff, and this local derby carried in pouring rain in front of less than 6,000 spectators on an 11 o'clock kickoff on a Saturday morning, winds up at 1-1.